Bible tells us that Bartimaeus, who has his cloak, which is probably what he gathered, what people would give him money as they passed by, he throws his cloak to the side, not even caring. He's so intent on getting to Jesus and he runs to Jesus. And when he gets to Jesus, Jesus looks at him and he says, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man says, Rabbi, I want to see. The particular translation of rabbi is Rabboni, and it's the only place that this translation is used except for when Mary Magdalene is talking to Jesus. And it is a place of high honor and authority. When he says rabbi, he's actually saying master, or he is saying Lord. You know what I love about Jesus is that Jesus doesn't just like call him and then without a word, put his hands on him, heal him, and I gotta go. Here we go, 18 miles. Instead, Jesus wants to have a conversation with you. Jesus doesn't just speak healing, but he allows this man in his pain and his loss to verbalize what he needs. Jesus gives the man back his dignity. He says, I didn't just come here to talk to you. I came to talk with you. I came to have a conversation. I wanna know what's on your heart and I wanna ask you the question, what do you want me to do for you? This is a personal conversation. Bartimaeus is not a project to be completed. Are you honest with your need today? Is there a need in your life that maybe you've never actually allowed God the access to? Bartimaeus asked for his sight back. He had spent his life since he had lost his sight begging. You better believe he didn't ask everyone passing by to heal him. This was a different request. He had asked for money. He had asked for provision. He had asked for food. But because he believed that Jesus was master and Lord, his ask changed as he came into the presence of Jesus. And instead of asking for just a temporary fix, he said, Jesus, I want you to get to the root of the problem. I want you to heal me from the inside out. Do you trust Jesus to heal you today? Do you trust Jesus with your pain? Do you trust Jesus with your trauma? Do you trust Jesus with your secrets? Because Jesus is not just here for a temporary fix or to meet your daily needs like anyone else can, but when you come into His presence, you stand before the one that can permanently change your situation. Do you trust Him today? Do you trust Him today? 